Hey you guys, so today I just wanted to do a quick video about um, what to look for when it comes to diamond color. Because um, I'm sure you've heard about the four C's when it comes to comparing diamonds. Uh, I actually say that there's five C's when grading diamonds. And so today with looking at color, you know, actually diamonds come in all different colors. You have your blacks, your blues, your browns, your orange, your green, you know, all colors of the rainbow. But when it comes to engagement rings, wedding rings, anniversary, you know, all of that, traditionally people want a white diamond. Um, so you'll see here, I actually have two princess cut diamonds that I got in for a client for us to review. Um, so when we're looking at diamonds, there's actually a, a graded color range. And so you'll see here, if I zoom out just a little bit, um, so the diamond grade color actually starts with the color D and works through the alphabet all the way down to Z. And so you'll notice in the picture that the diamonds start getting a little bit more of a yellowish or brownish tone when we're going through that alphabet scale. Uh, so I always tell people, think of D, top grade, deed for diamond, right? Um, so you'll see here I have two diamonds that are just about one carat in size and the one that we have here on the left you'll notice is just a little bit more of a white tone compared to the one on the right and when you want to see a true color of the diamond you actually want to flip it upside down and look through the bottom or what we call the pavilion of the diamond and here you're really able to see now the true color of the diamonds. So what we're looking at here for the first one, kind of this bigger guy, this is actually a color G, color H. So if we go back to the scale here, a color G, color H is at the top of your near colorless range. Very nice white diamond. Um, I actually love being in this range because it's a great price point, but it still gives you that bright white diamond. While this other guy here that was on the right, we are looking at closer to a color J, maybe a color I, depending on you know who certifies the diamond, but um, the video is kind of hard to tell, but it does have quite a bit of a yellowish body tone to the diamond. So if we go back to our scale, looking at a color J, right up here, color J, maybe an I, is at the bottom of the near colorless range. And actually most diamonds that are used in mass produced jewelry is in that color range, color I, color J. Um, so being that you could, you know, depending on what your budget range is, going with that color, it still is a nice diamond, um, but it just gives you a better budget friendly you know, diamond there. So uh, the other thing that I talk about really important when it comes to di designing diamond, uh, jewelry for diamonds, that if let's say I decide to go with this diamond here, he's just a little bit smaller, has a little bit more body color, but you know what, it fits perfect in my price range. So if I go with this guy here, you'll notice he does have a little bit more body color, but when I add little diamonds on the sides of the ring, um, I want to make sure it's in the same color range. I don't want to use this color of diamond, um, all the little diamonds you know, around, because what happens is these diamonds, if you can imagine sitting all around there, is actually making that stone look a little bit more yellow or a little bit more brown than what it really is. Because if I take this big guy away and we just see him all by himself, looks like a fabulous diamond, right? It's because we're not comparing these bright white diamonds to them. So when it comes to designing jewelry is I always make sure that we first start selecting with the main diamond and then from there all of the accent diamonds we keep in the same color range. So then that way one diamond doesn't look a little bit more brown or a little bit more yellow than the other. So there you go guys, um, that's kind of the basics real quick. <laughs> um, details about diamond color. So if you guys have any more questions, definitely let me know and I'll explain more in detail. Have a fabulous day.